Friends, I have got an update for my Tinkercad 3D printed cable label. So let's get cracking. We are gonna start with a template. I need you to type bit.ly slash HL cable and press enter. When you do, you will be taken to a template where you'll be able to make your own cable label. Of course, it is set to copy and tinker. Please remember the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give it a reaction before you copy and tinker. Friends, this is a project I built a long time ago. We've got a part that slides in. It leaves a trough. You can put these together after you're done. You can add words on top and make an epic cable label. Now, friends, I have updated it to a new design using Sketch. Check this out. If we double click it, it is built using the awesome new Bezier Curve tool. If you haven't seen this before, there's an awesome preview. This walks you through it. I'm going to go back to Sketch. And also, I've got some epic tutorials you can check over there. This is my original concept, but I've come up with a better one. Let me click Finish Sketch and show you the new version right now. All right, so let me walk you through how we build this. I'm going to get this out of the way. So when we double click on this part, you'll have a good view of how it's built. Right here, you can see it's four millimeters. I came up one to three or five millimeters. These were just guess and check. I started this design with straight lines and then I switched to the curves. I'll show you those in a second. If you want a full intro, of course, I'll put one of those videos up in the corner. This corner, I press number three. If I hit number one, you can see it breaks that. If I do control Z, now it allows me to adjust this curve however I wanted. You can change your snap grid to as fine as you want, even setting it to off. If that is what you wanted, then I came down here and added a point and made this two millimeters thick. That way it was going to be strong. Now, I don't want to break anything I built here, so I'm just going to do control Z to get it back to how it was when we started. And I'm going to hit finish sketch. Now, the reason we built half is because that way we're sure it'll be symmetrical. Let's quickly get this lined back up. I'm going to set my nudge back to one. We'll click on this part and do control D. I'm going to shift nudge to move it to the other side. Now I can use the mirror tool to flip it and I want it to land right here. So I'm going to hit W for work plane, click on it and do D to drop and W for work plane. This is now the cutout part that is going to hold the cable. I'm going to take these two and do control G to group. Now I'm going to bring these two parts together. So I'm going to do L for align and I want to align it to the center. I'm going to take this part and make it a funky color that makes it easier to see. We'll go with green and then I'm going to bring out the sketch tool and I want it to line up with that cube. So I'm going to just set it down and you can see I came close, but I don't want close. I want perfect. So I'm going to select those two, choose L for align, make sure I click on the red one, look at it from a corner and I want it to that edge. And I want it to the bottom. I don't want it aligned this way. Now when I click somewhere else and double click and edit, we're looking straight on. This gives us the perfect view for what we're going to do right now. Simply grab your line tool. We're going to trace the entire bottom. We're going to go up the edge, get to this corner. Notice because of the way I built these, we are snapping exactly to edges and we're finishing the shape. That's going to be the hole, but we want it to be a tiny bit larger. So check this out. We're going to turn on the 0.1 millimeter nudge and we're going to just click on the line and we're going to click up one. So it is 0.1 millimeter taller there. I'm going to click on this point and I'm going to go one to the left and one up. I'm going to go one to the right and one up. And I'm going to go down here to the bottom and go one to the right. And I'm going to go one to the left. If we zoom in, you can see that these edges are reasonable, except this top corner. Notice I can't get that nudge quite perfect. If you really, really care, just shut it off and do it with your eyeball. I think that looks pretty smooth. And then I'm going to move over here to the other side. I'm going to pan by holding in my scroll wheel or using the shortcut. And same thing, I'm just pulling this down and out until that looks close to the same all the way around. When you're happy, which I am, I'm gonna hit finish sketch. This now turns into a hole and it's gonna cut out the block that this eventually slides into. 
That, my friends, is the cable label system. Let's real quickly match these two shapes. Notice I made this one 60 by 20, and I set the height to 10. Let's make this one match. Once again, it's got to be 60 this way. And now I can select those two, choose L for a line, make this one the boss. And we want it to go to the middle, and of course bottom, and we want it to be centered. I'm going to take those two and do Control G to group. Notice because of the angles, this will print reasonably well. If it does have anything dangling, it'll actually be snug with this, which actually helps keep them together. Since this one's 60 millimeters long, I'm going to take this one and make it 60 millimeters as well. I'll put these side by side for printing. Let's do L for a line, make either of them the boss. And I'm going to take these two parts and I'm going to export them as one piece. STL. I'm going to store it in my 3D modeling folder. And I'm going to put an A after this because I already used that name once earlier. Now, friends, you want to put a name on these. Let me show you how to do it. The easiest way is to just use the built-in text. I'm going to cruise it on top. You've got four choices. I'm going to just put HLMT. And then I'm going to use shift squeeze to get it to fit the way I want. This time I'm going to squeeze using one of the black handles and then I want it to poke out one millimeter and press enter. Let's pick a more fun color. And then I'm going to select them and do L for a line. I'm going to make the red one the master and choose center and choose center. Now I've already exported the bottom pieces, so I'm just going to export the text. Once again, 3D modeling folder, and I'm going to save it as cable label HLMT. At this time, friends, let's bounce to Bamboo Studio, and I'll show you how to print it. Step one, of course, is to add the parts. Notice my two parts are at the top, so I can select them both, and I'm going to choose Open. I'm going to do Single Object, Multiple Parts, and say Yes. What this does is it allows me to bounce to the object menu, and I can easily pick the colors for each part. So I want my text to be red. I'm going to make the base black. And bingo, we are ready to print. Now because the red prints when this is completely finished, I do not really care about the prime tower. So I'm going to back up and I'm going to shut off the prime tower completely. I have no real need to worry about the mixing of the colors. I'm going to use 0.2 standard layers. Let's slice that plate. Check it out, it's gonna take about 26 minutes and print that plate. Double check the colors, I do not care about a time lapse. Let's hit send. And after a moment it bounces to the device menu and we just have to wait patiently for it to download. Now, of course, once it finishes, we can click play and monitor everything from afar. Now friends, of course that printed absolutely fine, but I've got something else I wanna show you too. If we right click on this one, and we split into objects. I'm gonna take the text and I'm just gonna delete it. So we've got a part that is going to function but it doesn't have text. Check it out, we're gonna add that with the built-in text shape. Pick your font that you think is cool. I'm gonna go with bangers. That's gonna be the one that you see printed out. Of course, I'm gonna put the exact same words, HLMT. I do wanna make it one millimeter high and press enter. And now I can move it out on to the project. I'm going to set it right here. I do want to change that font to something bigger. Let's try 25. That looks about the max. I think I'm going to back it up to 24. And now I can switch to move mode to place it. Slide it exactly how I want. And then, of course, I simply move back to the object menu. And we can click on that text shape and pick the color we want you can take the exact same project and use it again and again. Now notice this is longer than it needs to be. Let's fix that too. I'm going to click on the main cable label part. I'm going to switch to scale. I want to make sure uniform is shut off and I can just squeeze this down until it's the exact size I need. Once I'm done, I can go back to move and I can nudge that into the exact right place as well. Friends, just like that, you have customized your cable label to sell to another user. How cool is that?
Of course, simply slice the plate. Now our project is customized and finishes in about 23 minutes. How cool is that? And about 23 minutes later, friends, here we are. The part slides out. Pretty easy peasy. Of course, you put the cable inside there, and when you slide it back together, bingo, it's labeled. Easy to customize and prints pretty darn fast. Friends, I want to give a huge shout out to Patricia for asking me to get back to this project. It had been way too long since I checked it out, and the new sketch tool makes it absolutely fantastic. Of course, make sure you stay tuned. I've got other ideas for how I'm going to use it as well. I do also want to say thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Love how that group is growing. The discussion area is getting bigger every day. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.